Hello, I'm going to show you how in Facebook Manager you go about verifying your website domain so Facebook then knows that you are a genuine business. People want to engage with businesses that are authentic and trustworthy. And in order to help them do this, Facebook asks you to complete the business verification process. Business verification checks that a business manager account belongs to an actual business or organization. So I want to go into my business manager by typing in business.facebook.com and assuming you followed the steps to set up your business manager and connect up your pages, this should just click through automatically for you. So I'm going to choose a business where I know the domain hasn't been verified just for demonstration. So within Business Manager, I want to go to the right business. If you've got a number of business managers, make sure you're in the right um, account here and then select Business Settings. So I then want to scroll down until I see Brand Safety. Click into that and then select Domains. So you'll see here that this is not verified and it's clearly stated in red. If, and I'll show you at the end what it looks like when it goes green, but um, so it, it would be just verified um, in green writing next to your domain name. So here, Facebook gives you three options to uh, verify your domain. So this is the first one, add a meta tag to your HTML source. So you might prefer to work with your web, website developer to do this, as it could be a bit fizzly um, because this is getting into code. But essentially, you'd want to, it will give you a personalized piece of code here. Copy this meta tag. So you just literally want to copy it and then go into your code and in the header section between the two um, pieces of code saying head like this, you just want to drop it in paste it in. They've suggested a way here where you can actually check whether it's visible and working. And once you think it's all correct, then you just click verify domain. There are some other options here. So this one is upload an HTML file to your root directory. And again, it shows you the steps to do this. And the last one is update the DNS text record with your domain registrar. So this is like GoDaddy or 123reg, wherever you actually registered your uh, business domain initially, it would be a case of logging in and following these instructions again to add a text file. So you again, like I said, it may be that you, you want someone more sort of code savvy or, or um, you know, more um, techie to help you on this. But if you're feeling comfortable, the instructions are pretty clear. So once you've chosen your option and you think you've got it all correct, then you just click verify domain. So at that point, it will just confirm that it's got all of the details it needs and it will uh, indicate that it probably will take up to 40 hours and maybe a bit longer before it's going to come back and give you your verification or um, if there's any problems, it will tell you that it hasn't passed and, and what to do next. So just to show you what it looks like once it is verified, I'll just pop in to an Actually, I haven't actually done it on that one. So if I click into this business here and look in to brand safety domains, and you'll see that it just comes up verified in green. Okay, so if you have uh, any complications with that, again, just please contact us via the blue button on the maybe dashboard.